be at least three or four instances of a batsman getting hit on the helmet per innings. When there's a post-mortem done of this game, and there should be a post-mortem of this game, visibility of that ball will be a big factor against the wide side screen? Don't think so. Because when you see the slip catches, the way they've taken catches, I don't think visibility is, is an issue at all. The texture of the ball is the issue. About what? Definitely asked Batson on both sides, not just you think Virat Kohli wasn't seeing the ball properly? Or Ajinkya Rahane or Cheteshwar Pujar. I'd ask all of them and just ask them, what do you think? Because if, if pink ball cricket is going to be a regular feature, then you just I want to be sure everything's working. I watching from the outside whether the batsman is yeah, seeing the ball properly it, or not. Yeah, it doesn't cost anything to ask. It's just always good to know everything around the game. might as well ask everything, right? Say nothing Sorry? here. Ask I the players everything and say nothing from here. If I was doing a post-mortem, I'd ask everything. Because I want to know everything about the pink ball game. See if it's working. Why are so many batsmen getting hit? Well, you need technique? to ask her. Shall we from for us who played the game to get a fair idea yeah, about what's happening out there? Playing Runs the on the leg side. And that's going to be four. I think he saw that one. As India are long fuller with the red ball. Pink ball, they've gone short. And I really think, I mean, watching two and a half days, three days of cricket, I don't think visibility is an issue. We've seen some terrific catches taken in the slips on the boundary as well. I think the big issue, you can see the ball just comes onto the bat, it's just back to ball and the ball just flies off the blade, it's gone for four. And I say this with some authority because 10, 15 years of first class cricket, that's what we did. A ball very similar in texture to this one. It's the reason I'd ask everybody, Sanjay, because uh, when you've played the game, you get a very good idea of what's happened or what the conditions are. Art, but it cannot be a limitation to learning. It, can, it has to be an aid to learning. If you'd only ask players, you'd never have got T20 cricket. You'd never have got day-night cricket. So sometimes it's best to just ask everybody what they think and then justify your hypothesis rather than ruling it out before asking. That's the only point I'm making. Point taken, but don't agree. But that's the way it should be, isn't it? We agree to disagree. Absolutely. Absolutely.